The message is God demands justice for sin. All sin carries death penalty. But the Bible says the wages of sin is death. Jesus did nothing wrong. Pay that death penalty for us so that we can have hope. Jesus don't have to die, but he did die so that we can live. Jesus gave his life for you and me. And through his death on the cross of Calvary, we receive the forgiveness of sins. Our sins make it necessary for Jesus to die. We are guilty of the sin. Jesus took upon that gift for us on the cross of Calvary. When he shed precious blood on the cross, we are guilty as those who put the nail in the legs and the hands of Jesus. We are guilty as those who stone him and mock him and beat him and revive him. We are guilty. We don't deserve to live. In fact, we deserve to die to be cast in the lake of fire. But due to God's mercy, He has mercy upon us and put that wrath upon His Son, Jesus Christ. And that through that on the cross, we receive the forgiveness of sins. Friend, when there is no hope, God brings hope to us. On the cross of Calvary is the hope of humanity. Thankfully, by His grace and mercy, and the Lord of God, we cannot go to hell. We will believe what Jesus has done for us. The Bible says in John 3 and 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That who serves in him should not perish or have everlasting life. In John 3 36, the Bible says, He who believes the Son has eternal life. Where does not obey the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God remains on him. So we see in these two verses that you have to believe and obey the Son of God so that we can avoid hell. If you want to avoid hell, you must believe and obey the Lord Jesus Christ that through him you may receive everlasting life. What must I do to go to heaven? I must believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. And the Bible says you shall be saved. Most of us you do to go to hell, you just have to do nothing. Nothing, absolutely nothing, and that will take you to hell. Friend, if you don't want to go to hell, all you have to do is to make a prayer like this. Dear Lord Jesus, Dear Lord Jesus, I admit that I'm a guilty of sin. I admit I'm a guilty of sin. And I stand condemned before you. And I stand condemned before you. But thank you. Thank you. That you deliver me. That you deliver me. From the burden of sin. From the burden of sin. And the burden of Satan. And the burden of Satan. Today. Today. I encourage you. I encourage you. As my Lord. As my Lord. And personal Savior. And personal Savior. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. For saving me. For saving me. In your name I pray. In your name I pray. Amen.